Welcome to AMC Month in Review, your guide to everything that's happening around the command. This month, civil rights activist Cheyenne Webb Priceberg spoke in an AMC hosted Martin Luther King Jr. legacy celebration. Two retrograde all-stars met for the first AMC Transcom Day. AMC got a blast from the past when six former commanding generals returned for a visit, then stayed as General Vice honored guests for AMC's Hall of Fame induction ceremony. And AMC capped off the month with a visit from the Chief of Staff of the Army, General Raymond Odierno. It's episode 12 of AMC Month in Review. On January 20th, two of the largest logistics powerhouses in the Department of Defense met for the first ever AMC Transcom Day. Air Force General Paul Selva, the commander of the U.S. Transportation Command, and AMC's General Vi have partnered their commands in an effort to move tens of thousands of pieces of equipment out of Afghanistan. When we commit our Army to a fight, we're committing our national will. The Army's our largest customer, and so it's a natural relationship that Army Material Command and U.S. Transportation Command would get together and look for better ways to execute that transportation mission and that deployment mission in support of our soldiers in the field. The two commanders took time to compare notes, discuss ways to improve future processes, and forecast future requirements. On January 21st, Redstone Arsenal employees filled Bob Jones Auditorium to celebrate the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr and hear from guest speaker Cheyenne Webb Kreisberg, who was named the youngest freedom fighter by Dr. King. But Dr. King instilled in me at an early age that regardless of your economic status in life, if you believe it, then you what? You can achieve it. On January 22nd, six former commanding generals returned for a visit, including General Vi's predecessor and first female four-star general Ann Dunwoody. Later that afternoon, the commanders were honored guests for AMC's Second Commander's Hall of Fame induction ceremony, where General Vi inducted five new members. And now that they're in our Hall of Fame, their careers and accomplishments will serve as visible testimony to what can be achieved through their extraordinary examples. On January 29th, Chief of Staff of the Army General Raymond Odierno spent the day at Redstone Arsenal visiting AMC, U.S. Army Security Assistance Command, and U.S. Army Space and Missile Defense Command. Each command provides a unique capability that not only supports the warfighter on the ground, but our entire joint force. To find out more about these topics, visit AMC's webpage, and thanks again for checking out AMC Month in Review.